ladies and gentlemen, I give you a scroller box. I know it's been a hot, hot, hot second since I've done one of these. So I'm super excited. I don't want to waste any time. We're just going to get right into it. Okay. Ooh, it's pretty. All right, I won't look at it. I got a strawberry candy, apparently. I don't know what that's all about. It doesn't say anything on it. And then I got I got a picture. And this month's featured artist is artist artist. Wow, wow! I can talk. This month's featured artist is Milky Rat. Does that say? Oh God. That is that is definitely a nun. That's kind of really cool. All right, let's see. Here's all of the, all of the information for the person so that y'all know all those cool things. And yeah, all right, well, let's get into it. It looks like, first of all, we got some hot press watercolor paper, or maybe this feels like hot press to me. I could be wrong, but it feels like hot press to me. And I got, oh, this is the second set of watercolors I've gotten from Scrawler Box. This is really funny. All right, well, we'll start here. Let's see. There's a Faber Castell Graphite Aquarelle. Oh, it's an Aquarelle Graphite pencil. All right, sure. Oh, actually, let's see. This is watercolor wherever. Yep. All right, and then we got, yeah, ultra smooth watercolor paper. Ooh, 50% cotton. Ooh. And then, ink tents. Oh, I have these. I literally own the entire set of ink tents pencils. So, I, I don't know where it is, but I have the full set of ink tents colored pencils uh, that activate with water. So I'm assuming these will be similar. And then I also have a Koi Noir kneadable eraser, which I actually, I have a kneadable eraser that I use constantly. I like it because it's green. Mm -hmm. Hey, maybe this will be the holy grail of kneaded erasers. I don't know. Or maybe it'll be the most awful kneaded eraser that was ever awful. I suppose we shall find out. Now shall we? Shan't we? Won't we? I don't know. I'm like weirdly hyper because I haven't slept in a day, and uh, so I think that's affecting my brain. Right, but anyway, so the theme is, oh, the theme, the scrawler box challenge is false prayer. Oh God, which I guess that makes sense then for the, oh no. I just thought of what I'm gonna have to do because there's this little game that I've played a couple of times called Mystic Messenger and there's a character that may or may not dress as a nun. Hmm. But enough about that. Let's get into testing these ink tents pans and this I'm interested by up in this graphite aquarelle fabric castell pencil it's a water soluble pencil for preliminary sketching using watercolor and it's brake resistant lead hmm well we shall see now won't we Okay, so here I am uh, testing out the few supplies I do have, and can I say, I was really iffy about this aquarelle pencil thing, and then when I started to actually do the art, I kind of super hate it. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, here I am with my aquarelle pencil. 
uh, the kneaded eraser, swatching the Derwent ink tense pans, which actually I'm sort of, well, I'm not surprised. I'm definitely not surprised by the uh, color payoff. These colors are like super vibrant and intense, which I expected because that's how the colored pencils are. But I actually was surprised when I started doing skin tone that there's actually a skin tone in the container that I like straight off the bat as like a skin tone. The Burnt Yellow Ochre 1705 actually works really well as a skin tone, I think. It may be a little bit dark for 707 because of course, as I mentioned before, Mystic Messenger. How do you not do a picture of Luciel dressed as a nun if you have this prompt? I mean, come on. So yeah, here's the yellow ochre for his skin. Um, and yeah, I was impressed with how it laid down, especially because usually I have to mix my own skin tone with those colored pencils. But um, yeah, oh, also this paper, um, I sort of, I was doing this during a convention at the hotel. So I may have accidentally misplaced my uh, paper from the scrawler box. And as you saw earlier, when I was doing my test swatches, I already had this piece of watercolor paper taped down for something else. So I just sort of ended up using this paper instead. But yeah, otherwise, I mean, it was basically just a set of, wa of intensely picked pigmented watercolors. Um, this is actually, like I said earlier, the second set of watercolors I've gotten from a scrawler box. The first set were the Sakura Koi. And actually, ironically, they were my first video, my first scrawler box video anyway. And this is my first scrawler box since getting back into doing YouTube stuff. So sort of, I don't know, I guess funny and ironic. And the only thing I regret from this box is there was nothing to ink with. There was nothing to like go back and f refine the line art. I went in with the black ink tents uh, pigment and I then also went in with the, the uh, Koei Noir again, but it didn't give me a really heavily like dark pigmented line, but that's really my only complaint. But yeah, so I hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, please like and subscribe and share. And I will see all of you soon.